Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the Laplace transform of elementary function sin a t. That is L of sin a t. As per the formula, L of f of t is given as integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into f of t dt where t is a positive value. Now in place of f of t we are going to substitute sin a t to find the Laplace transform of sin a t. So L of sin a t now becomes integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into sin a t dt. Now we find the integration is a product of two different functions. We are going to use integration by parts. So for that we have to write i late and the two different functions present are one is exponent e power minus s t is exponent. And the other is sin at which is trigonometric. So in this order of i late which comes first is taken as u which is trigonometric so sin at and which is coming second is taken as dv which is e power minus st dt. From this we have to find its differentiation du. Differentiation is cos at by chain rule into a. And from dv we have to integrate and get v which is e power minus s t by minus s. Now once again let us take the question integration as i which we have as 0 to infinity e power minus s t sin a t dt. Now we are going to apply the integral by parts. So the formula is u v minus integral v du. We are going to substitute u as sin a t v as e power minus s t by minus s minus integral once again v as e power minus s t by minus s and du as cos a t into a. Then at the end we have to write dt also because it is with respect to t. So we have written dt. Now this is our, our i and here in the second part once again this is a product of two different function. So once again we have to write i late and mark the functions present. One is e power minus st by minus s which is exponent and other is cos at into a which is a trigonometry. So here u equal to the first function trigonometry which is cos a t into a and d v is e power minus s t by minus s d t. From this we get d u differentiation of cos a t is minus sin a t into a but already there is a so it become a square then d t because it is with respect to t. When we integrate this e power minus s t integration is e power minus s t and we have to divide by the coefficient of t which is minus s already there is minus s so it is minus s whole square. So once again we take this i that is i equal to first term is written as it is sin a t into e power minus s t by minus s minus open bracket in place of this entire integration we are going to follow this integration by parts. So we take the formula u v minus integral v d u. Now everything is a substitution. So i equal to first term sin a t into e power minus s t by minus s is written as it is minus open bracket u is cos 
at into a v is e power minus st by minus s whole square is only s square then minus we have integral v du so integral v is once again e power minus st by s square and du is minus sin at into a square dt now bracket close once again this i is taken as first term let's write exponent first e power minus st into sin at by s yes is written as it is and minus sign is taken inside it is minus we have the constant a by s square then the exponent e power minus st then the trigonometric cos a t already the a and s square is written in the beginning of this term now we have to take this minus inside already there is a minus here also minus there are three minus so combine together it is minus and the constants a square and s square is written first then we can write the integral and exponent e power minus st is written first then trigonometry sin at then dt is written now this last term is nothing but our original i that is this i is taken as integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into sin at dt we have not written the limit but this last term is taken as i so once again this i equal to these two terms should be written as it is e power minus st into sin at whole divided by s and minus a by s square e power minus st into cos at and minus a square by s square it is written as i now this i terms are grouped together so this is i plus a square by s square into i equal to here from these two terms whatever is possible can be taken outside e power minus st is common so let's take this alone first so the remaining is sin at by s minus a by s square into cos a t now we are going to take lcm here lcm is s square and s square will be multiplied here s square into i plus a square into i equal to you have to copy this as it is e power minus st into sin at by s minus a by s square into cos at we take i common we have s square plus a square divided by s square so this is e power minus st into sin at by s minus a by s square into cos at now we take this term to the other side as a product reciprocal s square by s square plus a square into e power minus st and rest of the terms as it is sin at by s minus a by s square into cos a t and this numerator s square we multiply with each term so outside we left with e power minus s t by s square plus a square when i multiply this this s and s gets cancelled so remaining one s will be there so s sin a t minus here a square will get cancelled so a cos a t and we usually put plus c but now we have the limit so now we start putting the limit e power minus s t by s square plus a square and the rest of the terms s into sin a t minus a into 
cos PAT and the entire term is enclosed with the limit from 0 to infinity. When I substitute the upper limit, e power minus st we have. So in this place when I put infinity, this total term become minus infinity and e power minus infinity is 0. So the entire term is 0 minus open a bracket. When I put the lower limit, when I put 0 here, e power 0 is 1 divided by a square plus a square will be remaining and when I put 0 here, sin 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1. So we left with only a and bracket close. Now finally we get i equal to this minus and minus become plus a by a square plus a square. So the term which we have named i is this term and this term is nothing but L of sin a t. So we evaluated this integration and we applied the limit and L of sin a t we got it as a by a square plus a square. Therefore, we can write this as L of sin a t is derived as a by a square plus a square.